So what we call on my channel MSDO, which refers to mandibular symphysial distraction osteogenesis or splitting the mandible at the midline and then widening it, you call that DAME. Is That's that right. right? Uh, yes. uh, and the reason the reason is that the uh, the uh, man, uh, you know the uh, symphysial distraction or eugenesis it is as uh, synthesis of the meaning just right in front of the two lower teeth but we have developed this technique that not necessarily this sh should be in the symphysial area of the mandible so it means that for example, cases that they have significant facial asymmetry, which is your area of, you know, kind, kind of concern. I understand you mentioned about the, you know, asymmetries when they develop. But some of these asymmetries uh, round is based on the severe condylar resorption of the joint of the mandible. And then when that happens, the jaw is going to shift the side that the mandible or the condyle is resorbed and short, so the chin is going to be off center. So if you have a plan for maxilla and be sure that maxilla doesn't get asymmetric, we need to be sure that we take care of the mandible that is asymmetric. So now for these cases, we can put the osteotomy instead of between two centrals, which is two lower teeth, we can bring it to the you know a little bit sider, you know, the side that is more asymmetric. So when we do the osteotomy there, for example, between the uh, lower uh, canine tooth or lateral, then the chin is going to be shifted to the middle of the face and it's going to take care of the uh, asymmetry of the mandible. So as a result of that, we call it DAME. The distraction can be not exactly at the middle, symphysial area. It can be somewhere between left to right canine, mesial of the left or mesial of right canine to the center. That's remarkable. So it's not just a matter of semantics where you have a different name for the same procedure. You're actually doing a different procedure sometimes that does not involve the symphysis. That's right.